The topic of this video is constructing a model using variation. Here's a problem. The intensity I of light varies inversely with the square of the distance d from the source. Suppose that the intensity of the light from the source at a distance of 2 meters is 0.065 foot candles. Determine the intensity of a light from the source at a distance of 5 meters. All right, before we begin solving this problem, I'd like to illustrate the idea expressed in the very first sentence. The intensity of light varies inversely with the distance. Here's a really simple example of that. I have a light that I'm shining at the camera lens right now. It has a certain amount of light intensity or brightness, but as I take the light source and move it closer and closer and closer to the camera, the intensity or brightness of the light appears to increase. As I move it backwards further and further and further from the camera, the intensity of the light appears to decrease. This shows an inverse relationship. As one goes up, the other goes down. As the distance between the light source and the eye decreases, the intensity increases. The reverse is also true. So, a long time ago, someone discovered this fact about light and the human eye and decided to come up with a precise mathematical relationship relating those two things. Here's what they discovered. Light intensity varies inversely with the square of the distance d from the source. So we can use this observable pattern about our real world to solve real world problems. This is such a real, a real world problem. Now, there's one more thing that I want to say before we move on. This says 0.065 foot candles. What is a foot candle? Well, a long time ago, before we had electricity, we had to measure brightness of light. And the way that was done was by lighting a single candle and putting it one foot from the human eye. The amount of brightness that a human can perceive from one candle when it is one foot from the human eye is called one foot candle. So with that in mind, we're now ready to solve this problem. We're gonna go through the steps together. Only this time, because we're being asked to predict the future, we'll need all six steps. Step one, write the quantity or expression that varies followed by an equal sign. Well, this says the intensity I of light varies. I varies. So I'll start with I equals. Step two is to put K in the numerator of a fraction. Step three is to identify the LY word for this problem, jointly, inversely, or directly. Well, in this case, it says inversely. So the quantity goes in the denominator. The square of the distance d. d squared goes in the denominator. Step four, put an, uh, replace any empty denominator with a one. We do not have an empty denominator for this problem. So we get the following equation. i equals k over d squared. Said another way, the intensity of light, i, varies inversely with the square of the distance d. Okay, now that we have completed steps one through four, we move on to step five. Replace all variables except k with numbers and solve for k. We're going to get the information we need from the second to last sentence. Suppose that the intensity of the light from the source at a distance of two meters is 0 0.065 foot candles. Think about what that's telling us. That's telling us the distance, distance of two meters, and it's telling us the intensity. Suppose that the intensity of the light from the source, blah, 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 is 0 0.065 foot candles. So I is 0 0.065. D is two. And of course, because the equation says D squared, we're gonna write two squared. All right, now we proceed to solving this problem. So we get 0 0.065 equals k over 4. We want to get k alone, and so to achieve that, we have to do the opposite of what's happening to k. Right now, k is being divided by 4, so we're going to multiply by 4. Because order does not matter with multiplication, on the right side of the equation, I can multiply by 4 on the right, and on the left side of the equation, I can multiply by 4 on the left. This would not be true for subtraction or division, but it is true for multiplication. All right, so the fours cancel, and on the right I have k. On the left I have four times 0 0.065. So I'll get out my calculator. Four times 0 0.065, I get 0 0.26. All right, I've now completed step five. 
For the first time, we are now going to perform step six, predict the future. So when you take the value of k and put it into your equation, you get an equation that allows you to predict the future. k is 0.26, so we get i equals 0.26 divided by d squared. This is an equation that tells me the relationship between light intensity and distance. If I know one, I can find the other. So now here comes the part where we can predict the future. Determine the, ten the intensity of light when the distance is five meters. So that means instead of D being two like it was before, now we're increasing the distance to five. Now what happens do you think when the distance is increasing? What do you think will happen to the light intensity? I hope you said it decreases because that's the correct answer. So let's plug in. We get 0 0.26 over five squared, which is 0 0.26 divided by 25. Once again, I'll use my calculator. 0 0.26 divided by 25, 0 0.0104. And because this is I, which is intensity, this is the number of foot candles. Now, before we call this problem done, let's do a reality check and see if our answer makes sense. When the distance was two meters, the light intensity was 0 0.065. And when we increased the distance to five meters, the light intensity became 0 0.0104. So when you increase the distance, we would expect the intensity to go down. Did it? Yes, 0.06 to 0.01. All right, so that gives me confidence that our final answer is correct. And with that, we are done with this problem.